Hello YouTube, this is Adam here from More Than Silence and what I would like to show you today is how to record your VCV rack patch with an external DAW uh, software which is GarageBand in my case because I'm not a professional uh, musician or music producer. Uh, but this video might help you as well because I have spent my last day figuring this out and it was not easy at all. But well, the solution is very easy, you will see. So what I have learned yesterday uh, from the VCV Rec website actually is that uh, VCV Rec uh, had a plugin, a VST plugin called Bridge uh, to solve this issue. But they don't have this option or this VST plugin right now in their recent version. So if you download uh, VCV Rec, it won't come with this uh, VST plugin. Anyway, if you want to try this plugin, you can go to the earlier rack packages and download uh, an earlier version of VCV rack and you will find the VST plugin there. Uh, but it doesn't really uh, work well. It has a lot of uh, pops and clicks, I think because of latency issues. I was looking for uh, alternate ways to do this and uh, I came across uh, Soundflower which used to be a free uh, software and a lot of people used it. Uh, actually, it's a brilliant software. Right now it was purchased by another developer and it's called Lubeck. You can download it, try it. Uh, it has a very, very short trial period. After that, you have to pay a lot of money for it, but it works perfectly. But I was looking for some free solution because I'm uh, not a professional uh, musician, as I have told you. So uh, what I found, to solve this is this program called I Show You Audio. You can Google it and download and install it. It's very easy, so I won't walk you through step by step. Uh, but once it's installed, uh, it appears here among your audio devices. And once it's there, uh, it's just uh, good to go. So actually, once I have uh, installed this uh, program, this uh, output here appeared in my VCV rack. I show you audio and I set it up. And I also set up as an input device in GarageBand. And what happens is that I start a recording and I start my patch. And it's recording. Okay, there are also uh, a few uh, cracks and pops that you could hear. And uh, that's uh, because I'm also using a screen capture program. But when I tried it uh, yesterday without uh, using the screen capture function, it just work, worked uh, pretty well. So I hope this video might help you as well and you don't have to spend a day to figure this out. Uh, have a nice day and please consider to subscribe. Uh, by the way, this was my first tutorial video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I have to learn a lot about uh, making these videos, but hopefully the next one is going to be better.